Are you looking to create a parallax scroll effect on your X theme blog? Watch this video where I take you step by step through the process. For the best blog tech advice, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Monday. If you want to create a really funky parallax effect on your blog, by the end of this video, you'll know just how to set it up on your site. So here I am in my WordPress dashboard. I'm now going to create a brand new page. I've got Gutenberg installed, which is what you're seeing here. I'm going to add my title here. I'm just going to call it Parallax Demo. And I want to make sure there's no container and it's the header and footer. And I'm just going to publish that. I'm now going to go to my X menu, click Cornerstone. I'm going to click Edit next to Parallax Demo. So I'm going to add a couple of sections. One, once it loads. And I'm going to add another section. But as you can see, I've added one, two sections. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this section here. And in this setup section, just there, I'm going to click advanced. And I'm going to set the background of the lower layer to an image, which is this one just here. I'm just going to grab on that I've got in my library and insert it. And there we go. I'm now going to go to customize and add a little bit of code. Now, don't worry, this sounds like a little bit scary, but it really is. And I'll leave the code in the comments of this video so you can just copy and paste it over yourself. Copy this code in here, and then I'm going to talk you through what it means. So basically, this is what we call a CSS class. This will apply to any background lower layer image. And all we're doing here is we're setting the background attachment property to be fixed because this is the bit that we don't want to move. We want everything to scroll up and down. So that's there. And we're going to come out of this now. And just here, I'm also going to add a little bit more code. Again, don't worry, I'll explain exactly what it means. I'm going to add min dash height and I'm going to set that to 800 pixels so what that has done is made it a very long image and you can see already that everything is scrolling over it as a parallax effect I'm just going to save that and I'm going to come down to this section here and I'm going to give it a background image. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to set the background upper layer to an image. I'm going to add the image here. I'll just use that one there so it gives us a big contrast. And then we're going to come down here to this background parallax option and check upper layer. I'm going to save that and you should be able to see how it moves it up and down, just like that. Now, if you want, you can add another section with a different background image. Set the background lower layer again. Um, I'll just use that image for now. I'm going to go to customize again. That same CSS again. That's all there is to it. If you need help getting your blog to load faster, check out my totally free five day email challenge where you'll get an email jam packed full of useful info every day to help get your blog loading faster. You'll find the link below. If you like this video, please let me know by liking it below and subscribe and share it with your fellow bloggers. And comment below with helpful if this video helped you. And don't forget to hit the bell to be notified when I publish a new video every Monday.